At Computex 2025, lots of brands started ramping up and showcasing products that are using Thunderbolt 5. Otherworld Computing, commonly known as OWC, has a section at their booth dedicated for just Thunderbolt 5 products. And we have one with us here today. This is the OWC Envoy Ultra. It's a Thunderbolt 5 external SSD that boasts speed of up to 6 gigabytes per second and available up to 4 terabytes as well. One reason why I am personally excited for Thunderbolt 5 SSDs is because I just want faster speeds. This external SSD of mine is based on Thunderbolt 4 and it is using a PCIe Gen 4 X4 SSD inside and at most it can get only at around like 3 gigabytes per second read and write speeds. You can watch our video at the top right corner there to know what we're talking about from top to bottom about this SSD because we bought the parts and then we assembled it ourselves. This OWC Envoy Ultra though is a fully integrated product. We cannot change the SSD inside. So let's get through with the unboxing first. There are some details on the box as we can see here, but uh, there isn't much to see here actually. Opening up the box reveals two cards and I want to talk about this card in particular, the one where it Windows uses. It says that the Envoy Ultra is formatted in APFS format and we can get better speeds by downloading OWC Disk Performance Utility to switch it to quote unquote better performance mode. More on this later. And then we can find the SSD inside and that's about it. The Envoy Ultra in itself is pretty basic in terms of the build. It's ultra silent since there is no fan and the entire SSD is enclosed in a solid block of aluminium with some fins for better heat dissipation. OWC is also confident enough to say that the Envoy Ultra is quote unquote built like a tank. When I first saw the Envoy Ultra, I was disgusted by the fact that it is using a non-removable Thunderbolt 5 cable. But then OWC claims that it is indeed rated for IP67, which is, I think, a trade-off that we have to make in this case. Do keep in mind that Thunderbolt 5 connector at the end, this one, is not waterproof and you should make sure it is 100% completely dry before plugging it in to avoid any damages. OWC also has a footnote that says, in the unlikely event that the integrated cable must be replaced, it is a user serviceable item and will be available beginning 2025. But so far, I have not found anything on their website yet, so we will have to talk to OWC about this. And from what I know, we do need to do some soldering work ourselves to replace the cable should the need arises. OWC also provides a limited 5-year warranty for the Envoy Ultra as well. Now we have to test out the performance. ROG came to our rescue with the Strixcar 16 and Strixcar 18 laptops that we recently made a video about because those two laptops come with double Thunderbolt 5 ports. So I used this laptop right here to test out the OWC Envoy Ultra for Windows. We of course have to format it to NTFS first and XFAT works as well if cross-compatibility between operating systems is what you need. On apps like Crystal Disk Info, it will show up as the OWC Aura Pro 4 and that is because the Envoy Ultra SSD inside this enclosure is using the Aura Pro 4 M.2 SSD inside. We ran the usual benchmarks and I have to say the speed is truly impressive. We're getting above 6GB of sequential read and nearly 4GB per second sequential write and the result on other SSD benchmarks are also very impressive. And then comes the most intensive test ever, the IDA64 linear write test. From here, we can see that the cache gets filled up quite fast and eventually stabilizes at around 220 megabytes per second write throughout the entire test. If you are writing a lot of data at one go to the Envoy Ultra, then this is likely going to happen to you. Now back to this card, it's actually an option available in Windows OS itself, but we can download OWC's utility to change it between these two modes much quicker. The two modes literally work as described in this utility. To be safe, it is always best to use it in the quick removal mode as it will ensure all data is written to the NAND directly. By making a deal with the devil and signing away your data's safety, yes, you can enable the better performance mode. It will do something called write caching, kind of like a chipmunk stuffing its mouth full of nuts before actually eating it. 
It's actually very dangerous because if the cache data is not written properly to the NAND flash yet, and the SSD is unplugged while it is doing so, then your data will be corrupted. By enabling this option to become better performance, it will only improve your write speeds, by the way. The read speeds is totally unaffected. So by looking at the differences in performance on both modes, we can see that the read speed is indeed drastically improved. We can get around 900 megabytes per second faster sequential write speeds on Crystal Dismark, and other benchmarks follow the same trend too. The IDA64 linear write benchmark is significantly better too, as it maintains around 1.4 gigabytes per second write speeds when the SSD cache is full, but the starting portion shows a bit more erratic behavior. On Macs though, there is no such function to enable or disable the write caching feature, so we don't have to worry about all that jazz. When I plugged the OWC Envoy Ultra to my M4 Pro Mac Mini, I ran two benchmarks. The first one is Amorphous Dismark, the Mac version of Crystal Dismark. From here, we can see significant sequential read and write speeds improvement compared to Windows, and that is just great to see. I also tried the famous Blackmagic Design Disk Speed Test and let it run for about 5 minutes non-stop, and the performance held up. We managed to get 5.2 gigabytes per second write and 5.4 gigabytes per second read. And this OWC Envoy Ultra is basically just fast enough to handle everything that we throw at it. As for the temperature, it's actually much cooler than this Thunderbolt 4 SSD that I am using right now. While my current SSD burns my hand when I touch it, the OWC Envoy Ultra only hovers at around 41 degrees Celsius, 40-ish degrees Celsius, while running these synthetic benchmarks. That's actually amazing. Now you might ask, why do I need such a fast SSD? Well, I edit videos. All the video files that I edit with is stored on an external storage because the Apple tax to upgrade their computer's SSD is just insanely expensive. I use an external SSD because I can bring it wherever I go and I can plug it into another computer in case my Mac goes kaput. That also means the external SSD needs to be superbly fast and keep up as I scrub through gigabytes of video footage with just a swipe of a mouse cursor. And even though our videos are only at 1080p 60fps, when we do put more clips together on top of each other, that will stress the SSD even further, particularly the read speeds. That's why video editors should be looking to get one of the OWC Envoy Ultra if your computer supports Thunderbolt 5. So should you buy the OWC Envoy Ultra? I would say yes. If you need the fastest speed possible for your external SSD, then go get it. Seriously, when you're out on a shoot and every second matters, having a super speedy SSD like this where we can just dump off the footages somewhere, it is a huge boon. It's even better if we have two of them so we have another one for data redundancy. And that's where we have to talk about the price. The OWC Envoy Ultra is available in two variants, 2TB or 4TB, and the prices are as shown on the screen here alongside with the price per gigabyte calculation. This calculation is based on the official pricing on OWC's website, and we can see that the 4TB version is obviously having a much better value, but it is very expensive at $600. US I mean, it's nice that the Envoy Ultra has better value and higher capacity, but I do recommend you to just buy it at whatever capacity that you need. And that is all that we have to share with you here today. The OWC Envoy Ultra is going to replace my Thunderbolt 4 SSD. I'll probably convert this into a redundant backup because I don't have such a system set up for now and I know it's super dangerous. I guess I just like to live my life dangerously when it comes to crucial work files. Yeah. If you have any other questions regarding the Envoy Ultra, then leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video. I apologize if you can hear some drilling noises because our next two door neighbors decided that it's a good time to do some major renovation. So yeah. <laughs>